Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss function using R language. Functions accommodate a number of programs lines into a program unit with an assigned name. If a set of lines are used frequently in any program, then we can define a function and accommodate those repeated lines into the defined function. Program call the functions and use it many times. Now we can see how you can define function. So just a square. Function. Okay, where you could pass the parameter. And suppose we want simple squaring of the values. Okay, so this is the definition of the function. Okay, the square is the name of the function. Here you can pass the parameter. Here we have passed single parameter. You can pass more than one parameters. Okay, yes. now so we can write square of four. It is sixteen. Square of ten. It is hundred. Yeah. Now you can see another example. Suppose function to count number of add odd numbers. So first of all, you have to define the odd value, odd name of the function, which is odd if. Now it is function. We assume it's passing a parameter. Next, define key to store the number of values. Then. We have to check each and every element, so so that's why we have to apply the for loop for that and check whether this particular number is odd or even. Now, if modulo modulo two equal to one, so then increment the value of k. Okay, close then return. The return the value of returned the key value and end of the program. Okay. Yeah. So the name of the function is odd x. And a function here x holds the data vector variable. X holds number of data. So its key, key is a counter. So you just check each and one by one value and check whether it is odd or even. If it is even odd, then increment key value. Otherwise, you not enter then. This condition is not true. Then do not in enter into this particular. Do not execute this line and do not in increment the k value. Okay, and then return value. Now suppose the value of x is zero, one, two, three. Okay, so we can write odd odd if so it return two. So two odd values are there. Say one and three. Similarly, we can pass. The values say directly one, three, seven, nine, three, six. Okay, so six odd values are there. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, so that's thirty-six. Next, check how to calculate the elapsed times. Means how much time it will take to execute. In R, the system dot time function measures the execution time taken to execute the program. So I'm giving to given a simple program to execute. So x, y, z, these three are the dummy variables. Okay. So system dot time is a function, and these two are these are the lines you want to execute. Okay, and we want to know the execution time required to execute. We want to calculate time required to execute these two lines. So we just enter. So it will identify the elapsed time. So how much time it will take? Okay, and that is the end of this particular video. Thank you.